Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for the big hook poncho. This tutorial is for a plus size poncho, but I also give you the information if you want to make a smaller size. So let me tell you everything you're going to need to make this poncho today. For our project today, you're going to need three skeins of the Premier Puzzle Yarn. The Puzzle Yarn comes in a 328 yard skein, 300 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams. It's 100% acrylic and when you look on the label, they even have an Afghan design here made with this yarn. The Puzzle Yarn is classified as a number 5 bulky weight yarn. What I like best is it has been tested and improved against 300 plus harmful substances so you know it's safe against your skin. It's machine wash cold, tumble dry, and we love those washable and dryable yarns. So this colorway is Seashore, color 105052, and Premier has many beautiful colors in the puzzle yarn, and you can check them out. I'll put a link directly to the Premier Puzzle Yarn in the description box. Now the link is an affiliate link. I am an affiliate of Premier Yarns. I love their yarns. I use them in my designs. And when I like a yarn this much, I do like to promote it. So I want to thank everyone who uses those affiliate links. So you can choose either the Seashore or any color you wish. So three skeins of the Puzzle Yarn. You're also going to need a size N as in Nancy, or 10 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a size 11L or 8 millimeter crochet hook. So we're using the larger hook to make the poncho, and then we're using this smaller hook to reinforce the neckline. So again, you're going to need three skeins of the color of your choice of the puzzle yarn, a size N crochet hook or 10 millimeter, and then a size L11 or 6 millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hooks, and let's get our project started. So now I want to go over the multiple because the multiple is very important for this pattern if you want to change the size. If you want to make it smaller, if you want to make it larger, then you need to use a multiple of four times any odd number. So for example, I'm making a plus size poncho, so I am using the multiple of four times 13 for a total of 52 chains. So I'm making the plus size. So what you want to do is you want to make a chain with a multiple of four times an odd number that fits comfortably over your head and around your neck. Now, when I started making this poncho, I noticed that the opening, my 52 chains, did stretch a little bit because of the weight of the yarn and the poncho pulling down on the neck. So I'm going to enforce my neckline when I get the poncho done. So keep that into consideration when you're choosing which number of chains you want to make. Now, if you take the multiple of four times an even number, your pattern's not going to come out because we're working rounds with odd number of stitches in the rounds and then we're changing and working even numbers. So in order to get this pattern correctly, it has to be a multiple of four times an odd number. So now for today, I'm making the plus size poncho, so I'm going to be using a chain of 52 which is the multiple of 4 times 13 so if you want to make a smaller size poncho then you need to figure out what size chain you need to go around your head and neck that fits comfortably now when you're following the tutorial if you are using a different starting chain then you will have different stitch counts than I will. So just keep that in mind. If you follow the tutorial from when I do the corner point to the corner point and across, your poncho should come out exactly as the way I'm showing it. You're just going to have a different stitch count. So I hope I explained that okay that you can understand. Please remember, make sure you use a multiple times an odd number. So let's go ahead, get started, grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's begin our poncho. 
To begin our poncho, you should have already figured out what you want your starting chain to be based on the multiple of four times an odd number. Now I'm making the plus size, so I'm going to do this tutorial based on a 52 stitch chain. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through the loop on my hook, and this creates my first chain. That's one, two, three, four, five, Continue until you have 52 chains or the desired starting chain and I'll be back and we'll start round one. I'm back. I have my 52 chains made and again I'm making the plus size. So whatever multiple you need for the size you want to make, make sure you do a double stitch count and make sure you have the correct starting chain. So now what we want to do is we want to join our chain together. So just take your chain and make sure this is where you stopped. Just follow it along with your fingers and make sure your chain is not twisted. And you're just going to follow it back to the very first chain that you made. Insert your hook into that first chain and then slip stitch yarn over, pull through that first chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're ready to begin round one. For round one we're going to begin and we're going to chain one. Now this beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. You're going to insert back into that same chain where you joined your chain together to form a ring, work one single crochet. single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next chain, and when I'm doing my chain I'm going under the top two loops of the chain, insert into the next chain, work a single crochet. And then that way when you come back to enforce your neck opening, you can see those chains very easy. Insert into the next chain and again I'm going under the top two loops and working a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, again going under those top two loops so you only have one strand of yarn underneath your stitch. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work one single crochet in each chain around and I'll meet you at the end of round one. I'm over at the end of round one. I worked one single crochet in each chain around. Make sure that your work is not twisted and then whatever your starting chain was is the amount of single crochet you should have. So start with your very first stitch. Now this right here is your beginning chain one. So that does not count as a stitch. So if you're new to crocheting you may want to put a stitch marker in your first stitch when you make it. I should have said that when I started the round so sorry about that. So skip the beginning chain one. Go over to your very first single crochet stitch. Insert under the top two loops and then slip stitch your round together. Yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. Again whatever your starting chain was you should have that many single crochet. Now again I'm making the plus size poncho. I chained 52 and I have 52 single crochet stitches for round one. So now we're ready to begin round two. For round two we're going to begin and we're going to chain three. Our beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet stitch. So now we're going to work a double crochet at the base of this beginning chain three in that same beginning joining stitch. To make a double crochet you're going to yarn over, come down to the base of that chain three, insert into that same joining stitch, yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a double crochet. You're going to chain two. Now we're going to work two more double crochet into that same stitch. Work two 
one, and two. So this will be your back center point, and this is a four point poncho. So now for round two, I'm gonna refer back to my paper. So I'm using the chain of 52. So I just made my back center point. So now I'm going to double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. So to figure out how many stitches you have to go in if you're using a different starting chain, let me show you how to do that. So we have four sides to our poncho. We have our back point, our front point, and our two side points. So what you're going to do is you're going to take 44 or whatever number your starting chain is and you're going to divide the 44 by 4. So you take 4 into 44 which would be 11. So what you would do is because 4 into 44 you have 11 then this classifies as the first stitch of the 11 where we made our point with the two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then you would have 10 more stitches for the total of 11. So you would double crochet in each of the next 10 stitches for a total of 11 stitches. You would make your side point and then work 10 stitches. The front center point and then 10 stitches. Your side point and then 10 stitches because when you count your point that would be 10 plus 1 is 11 and I really hope I'm not confusing you. Then if you're using the stitch count of 36 you would take 4 into 36 which would be 9 so this would be 1 when you do your point and then you would work in the next eight stitches for a total of nine stitches. So I hope that makes sense. So again, if you're not using the starting chain of 52 like I am, then you have to figure out how many stitches you're going to have in between those points. Once you get round two finished, then you can just follow my video from point to point and then just crochet in between those points and however many you have until you get to that next point. So now once you've figured out how many stitches until your next point, we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across until we get to our next point. Now I chained 52, so the 4 into 52 means I have 13 stitches. So this was my first stitch, and now I'm going to double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. 1, 2, and I'm going under the top 2 loops. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So when you look at your work, I have two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into my first single crochet, and then I worked one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. So now I'm ready to do my side point. Now your side point, we're going to work one double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet into that same stitch to make our side point. Now I'm going to work one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now we're going to make our front center point into the next stitch. You're going to work two double crochet into that next stitch. One, two, chain two, and then work two more double crochet into that same stitch and this creates your front center point. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. Now we're going to make our next side point so we're going to work one double crochet into the next chain, chain two, and then one double crochet back into that same stitch. Now we're going to finish by working one double crochet in each stitch across to our beginning chain three. So it should be a total of 12 stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. That's two. Three. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And we're back over to our beginning chain three. And if you're new to crocheting, this is gonna look like a stitch, but this is what I call the joining bar. When you slip stitch, it creates a horizontal bar or stitch going across. This is not a stitch, so do not crochet into that joining bar. You're going to come up and you're going to join into the top of that beginning chain three insert into the top chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. So let me zoom out. So this is what your poncho is going to look like right now. You have your back center point. You worked across to your side point. You worked down to your front center point. You worked over to your side point and then you work back to your back center point. So round two is finished and this is the most important round of your work. 
So let me grab my notes and all my scribbles. So when you're working on your poncho, if you're using a different chain count for your starting chain, then you want to go by what you times your multiple. So referring to my notes here, this is the plus size, so I chain 52. So we have 13 stitches from point to point. So you made your first point in the first stitch, and then you should have 12 stitches across, and then you make your next point would be one, and then 12 stitches would be 13, and then you would do it again. Your point counts as one, and then you work 12 stitches, your next point, and you work 12 stitches for a total of 13 stitches. If you made a smaller starting chain of 44, then you would have 11 stitches. Your point would count as one, and then you would have 10 stitches to your next point. Your point would be one, and then you would have 10 stitches for a total of 11, and you would continue that around. If you chain 36 as your starting chain, then you would have nine stitches. So your point would be one, even though you work two double crochet, a chain to two double crochet, I'm counting that as one because you worked all those stitches in that one stitch. Then you would have worked eight stitches for a total of nine point to the next point. Your point is one, and then you worked eight stitches for a total of nine. And then you would do the same thing if you did a starting chain of 28. Your point would be one, and then you would have six stitches to your next point for a total of seven stitches. So I hope that explained everything. Now this is the last time I'm going to show you this information. So if you want to refer to this later, you can go ahead and write this down. Now from this point forward, I'm just going to show you how to work your point and then the pattern to the next point. So it shouldn't matter what your starting chain was as long as you're doing your point and working the stitch pattern across to the next point, it should come out no matter what your starting chain was from this point forward. So this is the time that you should take it, put it over your head, and see if the neck opening is suitable for your size. If you don't like the neck size, then I would say rip it out and change your starting chain before you get any more worked on your poncho. So okay, round two is finished, and now we're going to start round three. For round three, you're going to chain one, and you're going to single crochet back into the top of that joining stitch, right into the top of that chain. Work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Now you're over at your chain two point and we're going to work two single crochet, one, two, you're going to chain two, pull those stitches over and work two more single crochet back into that same chain two point. So when you look at your work, you're going to have two single crochet, a chain two, and two single crochet into your point. We're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to our next chain two space. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch and go under the top two loops, single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across until you come to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at our side point now. So you worked one single crochet in each stitch across to your next chain two point. So for the side, we're going to work one single crochet, a chain two, and then one single crochet back into that same chain two space. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to our next chain two point. Insert into the next stitch going under the top two loops, work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. 
I'm over at my next chain two point and this is our front chain two point. So we're going to work two single crochet, one, two, chain two, and then work two more single crochet all into that same chain two space. So when you look at your work, you're going to have two single crochet, a chain two, and two single crochet all into that front center chain two point. Now when you do the two single crochet, chain two, two single crochet into that chain two space, make sure that that last single crochet you made is not covering up that first stitch because that will throw your stitch count off from an odd or even number and then your pattern won't work out. So make sure that you're pulling those stitches back and you're getting into the top of that next stitch. Single crochet under the top two loops of the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point and you can tell it's the side point because there's one double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet. We're going to single crochet into that chain two space, chain two, and then work one more single crochet into that same chain two space. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to our beginning single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch. Remember, always go under the top two loops unless I tell you otherwise. Single crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across to your beginning single crochet and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round three. I just worked one single crochet in each stitch across to my beginning single crochet stitch. So now we're ready to join our round together. We're going to skip this beginning joining bar. Make sure that you look down below. This is your last stitch. You're going to skip the joining bar skip that beginning chain one and insert under the top two loops of that very first single crochet stitch, slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round three is finished. So let me zoom out and show you what your work should look like. This is the back point where we're joining. You have your two side points and then you have your front point. So let's go ahead and begin round four. For round four, we're going to skip this beginning joining stitch where we joined our yarn. You're going to slip stitch in each stitch across to your chain two point. Insert into the next stitch, slip stitch. Insert into the next stitch, slip stitch. Insert into the next stitch and slip stitch. Now we're over at our chain two point and we're going to slip stitch into that chain two point. Now we're where we want to be because we want to start the round in the chain two point. We're going to begin with a chain three. One, two, and three. This beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Double crochet back into that same chain two space. You're going to chain two, and then work two more double crochet into that same chain two point. One, and two. So when you look at your work, you're going to have a chain three, a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet all into that first chain two point. So now we're going to be working a cross double crochet stitch over the next two stitches. You're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. And I always go under the top two loops. Now you're going to yarn over, bring your hook back to the front of your work, and you're going to insert from front to back through that skip stitch, yarn over, pull back through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You just made a double crochet and you just finished your double crochet cross stitch. 
we're going to work this pattern across to our next chain two point. So when you're working this pattern, make sure that you're going into the correct stitch because when you make this cross stitch, sometimes that stitch pulls over and it looks like the stitch wasn't worked. So make sure you're following that down. This stitch was worked. We're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to double crochet by coming to the front of your work and working a double crochet into that skip stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then come back and bring your hook to your front of your work and work a double crochet into that skip stitch. So let me show you one more time. We already worked in this stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to double crochet by bringing your hook to the front of your work and working into that skip stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue and work your cross double crochet by skipping the next stitch, double crochet into the next, and then come back and double crochet into the skip stitch. You're going to repeat that across to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point. We worked a cross double crochet across two stitches over until you get to your chain two point. So this is our side point, so we're going to work one double crochet into the chain two side point, a chain two, and then one more double crochet back into that chain two space. Now we're going to start working our double crochet cross stitch, so we're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, bring your hook to the front, and insert into the skip stitch and work a double crochet. Your cross double crochet is made. You already worked in this stitch, so you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Then double crochet, bringing your hook to the front of the work, going into that previously skipped stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. I'll show you one more time. You already worked in this stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then bring your hook to the front of the work and work a double crochet into the previously skipped single crochet. Your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then come back and double crochet into the skip stitch, forming your cross double crochet. Continue and work that across to your next chain two point, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point. We worked our cross double crochets across, and then when you work your last repeat, you're at your chain two point. So we're over at our front chain two point, so we're going to work two double crochet into the chain two space. One, and two. You're going to chain two. Now we're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two point. One, and two. So again, when you look at your work, you're going to have two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet into that front chain two point. Now we're going to begin and work our cross double crochet stitches across to the next chain two point. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. Let's do it again. You already worked in this stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. 
and then you're going to double crochet into the previously skipped stitch which forms your cross double crochet. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then come back and double crochet into the previously skipped stitch, forming your cross double crochet. Repeat that across to your next chain two point, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point, and this is our side chain two point. We just worked our cross double crochets across, and your last repeat ended in the last stitch, and then you have your chain two point. We're going to work one double crochet into the chain two space, chain two, and then double crochet back into that same space. Now we're going to begin working our cross double crochet stitches. You're going to skip this next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. You already worked in this stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. and then you're going to double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then come back and double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. You're going to repeat that across to your beginning chain three space, and where we slip stitched, you're going to work into the slip stitch of those beginning stitches when we started the round to complete your cross stitches across. So go ahead and continue working your cross double crochet stitches across, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four, but I decided to do the last few cross stitches with you is because the last four stitches have slip stitches in them where we started the round and we slip stitched over to that chain two point. So we have four slip stitches remaining and we're just going to work the cross double crochet underneath the top two loops of the slip stitch. We're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet under the top two loops of that next slip stitch and then double crochet under the top two loops of the previously skipped slip stitch. And then we're just going to do that again. Skip the next slip stitch, double crochet into the next slip stitch. You may have to use your hook and grab that front loop. Work your double crochet. And then come back and double crochet into that skipped slip stitch. and then you're back over to your beginning chain three. We're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that beginning chain three, count up one, two, three, insert into the top chain, slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round four is finished. And this is what your poncho should look like so far. So now we're ready to begin round five to begin round five, we're going to skip this beginning joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the top of the next stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch into the chain two space. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. We're going to double crochet back into that chain two point chain two, and then we're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two space. One, and two. So when you look at your work, you're going to have a chain three, double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet all into that same chain two point. 
Now we're going to work one double crochet in the top of each stitch across to your next chain two point. Double crochet under the top two loops of the next stitch. And I'm always going under the top two loops unless I otherwise tell you. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point. This is our side point. We just worked one double crochet in each stitch across and now we're going to work one double crochet into the next chain two space. Chain two and then one double crochet back into that same chain two space. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across until we get to our next chain two point. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your next chain two space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point. This is the front center chain two point and we worked one double crochet in each stitch across. So now we're going to work two double crochet into the chain two space. One. and two. You're going to chain two. I just move my stitches over a little bit and then I work two more double crochet back into that same chain two point. One and two. Now we're just going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to the next chain two point. Double crochet into the next stitch Double crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your next chain two point. So now I'm over at my next chain two point. We just worked one double crochet in each stitch across. We're on round five and we're at our side chain two point. So we're going to work one double crochet chain two and then one double crochet back into that same chain two space. Then we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across until we get to our beginning chain three space. Double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, Continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across, including those two beginning slip stitches. And I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. We just worked one double crochet in each stitch across. And when we started the round, we worked a slip stitch in those two stitches. So you're working a double crochet under the slip stitch of those stitches. And then we're back over to our beginning chain three. Now remember, this horizontal bar is a joining bar and not a stitch. You're going to count up to the top of that beginning chain three. One, two, three. Insert your hook into the top chain. Slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So round five is finished so I'm going to zoom out. So I'm going to turn it sideways. This is what our poncho looks like so far. And now we're going to start our repeat rounds. So round six, seven, and eight will be our repeat rounds and it's a total of a three round repeat. Very simple repeat. So let's go ahead and get started and start round six. To begin round six, we're going to skip the joining stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. Then we're going to slip stitch into the chain two point. And this is where we're going to start the round. We're going to begin with the chain one. 
we're going to work one single crochet back into that same chain two point. You're going to chain two and then single crochet back into that same two point. And all four chain two points are going to be made the same with one single crochet, a chain two, and one single crochet. Now we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to the next chain two point. Single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet in each stitch across to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point of round six and again all four of our chain two points are going to be worked the same. You're going to work one single crochet, a chain two, and one single crochet into that chain two point. Then you're going to repeat what we did on this side around the other three sides. You're going to single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. You're going to work one single crochet in each stitch across to your next chain two point and then you're just going to repeat one single crochet, a chain two, and one single crochet into the chain two point and then begin again working one single crochet in each stitch across. Repeat that around your remaining three sides and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. We worked one single crochet in each stitch around and then we worked one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet in each chain two point. So now we're going to join and remember new crocheters out there, this is your joining bar. It's not a stitch. You're going to skip the joining bar, skip that beginning chain one and insert under the top two loops of that first single crochet stitch. Slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round six is finished. Now we're ready to begin round seven. We're going to skip the joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch across to this first chain two point. Insert into the chain two space and slip stitch. Now we're going to begin with the chain three. One, two, three. And our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Double crochet back into that chain two point. chain two and then work two more double crochet back into that same chain two point. One and two. And when you look at your work you're going to have your chain three which is your first double crochet, a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet into that first chain two point. Now we're going to work our cross double crochet stitch across the next two stitches. Make sure that your first stitch is not covered up. You're going to skip the first stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to come back and double crochet by going to the front of your work and going into the previously skipped stitch and work a double crochet your cross double crochet is made. You already worked in this stitch so you're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Then bring your hook to the front of your work and work a double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. I'll show you one more time. You're going to skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch. Then bring your hook to the front of your work and work a double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, 
double crochet into the next stitch and then come back and double crochet in the previously skipped stitch forming your cross double crochet. Repeat that across to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point. This is our side point of round seven. I just worked a cross double crochet stitches across to the last stitch. Our repeat ends in the last stitch and then you have your chain two point. For this chain two point, we're going to work one double crochet, chain two, and then one double crochet back into that same chain two space your side point is made. Now we're going to start again working the cross double crochets across to the next chain two point. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Then double crochet bringing your hook to the front of your work and inserting into the previously skipped stitch working a double crochet. Your cross double crochet is made. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Then double crochet by bringing your hook to the front of your work and inserting into the previously skipped stitch and working that double crochet. Your cross double crochet stitch is made. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Then bringing your hook to the front of your work, double crochet into the previously skipped stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then come back and double crochet into the previously skipped stitch, forming your cross double crochet. Repeat that across to your next chain two point, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point of round seven and this is our front point. So we're going to work two double crochet into that chain two point. One and two. You're going to chain two. Then you're going to work two more double crochet back into that same chain two point. One and two. Now we're going to start working our cross double crochet stitches. Skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Then double crochet bringing your hook to the front of your work and inserting into the previously skipped stitch and work your double crochet. Your cross double crochet is made. You're going to skip the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch, then double crochet bringing your hook to the front of your work and inserting into the previously skipped stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then come back and double crochet into the previously skipped stitch, forming your cross stitch. Repeat that across to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point and this is our side point. So we're going to work one double crochet into the chain two space, chain two, and then one double crochet back into that same chain two space. Your side point is made. Now we're going to begin again working our cross double crochet stitches. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then double crochet bringing your hook to the front of your work and inserting into the previously skipped stitch. Your cross double crochet is made. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to double crochet bringing your hook to the front of your work and inserting into that previously skipped stitch. 
your cross double crochet is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then come back and work a double crochet into the previously skipped stitch, forming your cross double crochet. Repeat that across to your beginning chain three, and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round seven. I just worked my cross double crochets across and now I'm back to my beginning chain three. Now when you look at your work, all my new crocheters out there, remember that this horizontal bar is a joining bar and not a stitch. So when you finish your last cross double crochet, then you're at the end of the round. So you're going to skip the joining bar and then you're going to count up to the top of the beginning chain three one, two, three, insert into that top chain, slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round seven is finished. Now we're ready to begin round eight. For round eight, we're going to skip the beginning joining stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. We're going to slip stitch into the first chain two point, which is our back point. We're going to chain three, one, two, and three. Our beginning chain three counts as the first double crochet. Double crochet back into that same chain two space. Chain two. Then work two more double crochet back into that same chain two point. One and two. And again, you're going to have a chain three, which counts as your first double crochet, a double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet all into that first chain two point. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to our next chain two point. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. double crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point and this is our side point. So we're going to work one double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet into that side chain two point. Then we're going to begin again and work one double crochet in each stitch across to our next chain two point. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point. We just worked one double crochet in each stitch across and we're now at our front chain two point. So we're going to work two double crochet into the chain two point. One. and two. You're going to chain two and then work two more double crochet back into that same chain two point. One and two. And then we're going to begin again and work one double crochet in each stitch across to the next chain two point. Double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your next chain two point and I'll meet you there. I'm over at my next chain two point of round eight. We just worked one double crochet in each stitch across and now we're at our side point. So for the side point you're going to work one double crochet chain two and then one double crochet back into that same chain two space. 
Then we're going to begin again and work across the last side of our poncho and we're going to work one double crochet in each stitch across to our beginning chain three. Double crochet into the next stitch. Continue and work one double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your beginning chain three space and I'll meet you there. I'm over at the end of round eight. We just worked one double crochet in each stitch across and I'm back over to my beginning chain three. So again, new crocheters, this is our joining bar and not a stitch. So you can tell by looking at the stitches below if you're not sure. This stitch is above this stitch. This stitch is above this stitch. So there's no more stitches. You have your chain two space. So this is how you tell that's your joining bar. It's formed when you join your rounds together. So you're going to skip the joining bar, count up to the top of the beginning chain three, one, two, three insert into the top chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round eight is finished. So let me zoom out. So we are over at the end of round eight. Now the whole entire poncho that we made so far will not fit in my viewfinder. This is where we're starting each round. This is our back point. Then you worked across to your side point then you work down to your front point and then back over to your side point and then back to your back point. So now to continue working on your poncho, you just want to click back on the video and you're going to repeat round six round seven and round eight for the pattern. Now if you're making the plus size like I am, then you're going to repeat rounds six, seven, and eight a total of six more times. If you're working on a smaller size, then you want to repeat rounds six, seven, and eight to your desired length ending on round eight. So again, to continue working on your poncho for the plus size that I'm making, you're going to repeat row six, seven, and eight six more times, which will take you to the end of round 26. If you're working on a smaller size, then repeat round six, seven, and eight to your desired length ending on round eight. So go ahead and continue. I'm going to repeat round six through eight six more times, and I'll be back when I'm at the end of round 26. I'm back. I'm at the end of round 26. That's as far as my camera will zoom out. So it's pretty large. This is the front. And then I'm going up to the top neck. And then this is the back of our poncho. So when you get to the end of round 26, I already joined into the top of that beginning chain three. So I'm going to go ahead and fasten off because I am done with the main section of our poncho. So when I fasten off, I chain two, pull my yarn through, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So now again, if you're working on a smaller size, just make sure you're ending the pattern on round eight. So now we have one more step and that is to reinforce our neck. So go ahead and take your poncho and we're going up to the neck opening. So now I want to work one round of single crochet around the neck opening just to reinforce it. So when you fastened off, just follow that chain two space up to your neckline. And then we're dropping our hook size down to size L11 or eight millimeter. So I already have my yarn attached to my hook. I'm just going to go right to that chain two space where we followed it up, follow it right up to that stitch. Now it doesn't really matter if you go in that stitch or one beside it. So I'm going to swing my work around and dropping the hook size just helps pull this together just a little bit and make it more secure. And then I'm just going to work right over this end. I'm going to yarn over, pull through that stitch and pull through the loop on my hook. It just helps join my yarn. I'm going to chain one and then single crochet back into that same stitch. And this might be a little bit harder to see because this is a large poncho. 
you're going to go to the next stitch on the neck edge and work a single crochet. And you're really working into the bottom of the foundation chain around the neck. Go to your next chain, insert underneath the chain, and work a single crochet. Single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next chain. And again, what we're doing is we're going to tighten up this neck. And we're working one single crochet in each chain around. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet into the bottom chain of the foundation chain around the neckline and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm over at the end of round one of our neck edging. I just worked one single crochet in each chain on the bottom of our starting foundation chain around the neck. And whatever your starting chain was, mine was 52, you should have a total of 52 stitches. If you had a starting chain less than that, you should have the amount of single crochet as the same number of starting chains. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch. I'm just going over to my beginning single crochet, insert under the top two loops, yarn over, pull through that stitch, and pull through the loop on my hook. So our poncho is finished. I'm going to go ahead and fasten off my yarn from doing the neck edging. And I like to leave a little bit longer length because it's just easier to weave in those ends. I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So let me go ahead, weave in my ends, and I'll be back and show you the finished poncho. So I have my poncho laying on the floor, and the next step is you want to block your poncho. Now you don't have to, but if you want a more professional look to your poncho, then I would highly suggest to block it. So what I do for something like this is I wet the poncho, and then I fold it in half. I have the right side facing and I have the top center point matched with the bottom center point. So let me move my camera down at the bottom center screen. I have the top and bottom point aligned so they're on top of each other. And then if you move back up to the top of the poncho, you're going to see that the sides I have lined up. So once you wet it, just hand press it and make sure everything is aligned and not distorted. Because sometimes when you're using a really big hook and some of these yarns, your corners and points can get distorted because of how loose the stitches and how big the stitches are. So if your corners are angling or a little bit funky and you don't like that, then wet your poncho, lay it out on the floor, fold it in half right side up, and match those points, side point to side points, and top and bottom point right there, line it up, pin it in place, and let it lay flat to dry, and then your points will be perfect. So let me go ahead, put it on, and show you what the finished poncho looks like. So here is the finished big hook poncho. This is what it looks like. This is the front. And when you turn around, this is the back. Now I can't get the whole entire poncho in the viewfinder. I'll stand on my tippy toes. I still can't do it. But when you're a plus size woman, it's always nice when you have that little bit of extra room right here when you put on a garment like this to run around in the fall season and just keep yourself nice and toasty. I want to thank everyone for stopping by today, and if you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial, please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye everyone.